Welcome to South Coast AQMD On The Air's Governing Board Meeting Highlights for November 2015. In this episode, the Governing Board moves to help develop new heavy-duty truck engine technology, bring renewable natural gas fuels to market, and acts to further reduce toxic air pollution from cement manufacturing plants. The South Coast Air Quality Management District is the air pollution control agency for all of Orange County and the urban portions of Los Angeles, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties. Home to almost 17 million people, this is the second most populated urban area in the United States and one of the smoggiest. So don't go away. We'll be right back after this special message. So many people think that because air pollution seems so overwhelming, there's nothing I can do. It's sort of beyond me. It's somebody else's problem. It's a big issue. We can't take care of it. But really, the choices you make in your everyday life do affect air quality. Imagine what we can accomplish if we all just do one thing. One of the largest sources of toxic air pollution we face every day comes from vehicles burning diesel fuel. Heavy-duty trucks that wind their way through our communities carrying goods to and from the ports and local warehouses and other destinations are an important part of our economy. But burning diesel fuel produces toxic fine particles that can go deep into our lungs and even into our bloodstream. Diesel exhaust also produces a gas that mixes with other gases in our air under our intense Southern California sunshine and creates ozone, a serious air pollution problem in our region. So the South Coast AQMD Board, which has long supported replacing older diesel burning engine technology with new cleaner burning engines such as natural gas and even pollution free electric power, moved to partner with the California Energy Commission, the Clean Energy Company and the Southern California Gas Company to help fund the development of the next generation ultra low pollution heavy duty natural gas engines with Cummings Westport and Cummings Incorporated. The board also approved a study to look at the strengths and opportunities for wide-scale commercial use of renewable natural gas for these next-generation engines. Renewable natural gas is produced from waste. This plant is being built in Paris, California by CRNR Environmental Services and the fuel it will be producing will be used to power the very trucks that pick up and bring in the waste. Concrete is the most widely used man-made building material in the world. It can build skyscrapers, bridges, sidewalks, freeways, dams, and much more. But over the years, we've discovered that manufacturing concrete can release a certain toxic material into our air. That toxic material is a type of chromium. We're all familiar with chrome plating. Chromium is used in chrome to protect the metal plating and keep it shiny. In the final form of this, it's not a danger. But chromium in the materials used to make concrete can get into the air during the manufacturing process, and that's a problem. So the board approved rules to protect us from this type of chromium pollution by having the cement plants reduce material dust that may contain chromium from their operations and requiring the special air monitoring equipment around two cement plants in the Inland Empire to continue to operate even after the plants are shut down. A later report to the Governing Board showed that these rules have been so successful in reducing pollution that the special air monitoring may no longer be necessary in the future. However, the California Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment has updated their state guidelines on how much risk to our health certain toxic air pollutants are, such as chromium. They did so because recent medical research found that children are more heavily impacted by toxic air pollution than adults their bodies more easily damaged than earlier thought. Because of these new guidelines, when the rule came back for a scheduled review on the need for continued air monitoring, the South Coast AQMD staff made their proposal, adding some provisions to clarify the rule, such as how to file a closure plan if they don't already have one with another government agency, set specific timelines, having the cleaner standards begin in September 2016 and allowing a three-year period of time where there would be no violations against the plant filed if readings from the monitors were higher than the new proposed levels. Local environmental groups continued to support the proposal but were concerned about delaying the new standards for a year and the South Coast AQMD not issuing violations of those new standards for a three-year period. 
Representatives for the cement plant in Riverside said that the rule changes are not necessary and there is no problem. They believe that the state's health hazard assessment guidelines were incorrect, that the South Coast AQMD's recent testing of materials on the site was not done right, and that this proposal would interfere with the redevelopment of the property. A representative from the California Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment came to testify that their guidelines have been reviewed by both the public and a scientific peer review committee, and that the type of chromium the proposal addressed is internationally known to cause cancer and genetic damage. It can be absorbed not just through breathing, but through local homegrown food crops, contact with the skin, and through mother's milk. The board approved the proposal and adopted the new rule amendments, continuing the mission that has been so successful in reducing toxic pollution in our region. South Coast AQMD's governing board usually meets at their Diamond Bar headquarters on the first Friday of each month except August. Our job at South Coast AQMD is to find out where air pollution is coming from, figure out ways to reduce it, and then work together with businesses, lawmakers, scientists, and the community so that we can all have clean, healthy air to breathe. And all this work is under the leadership of a 13-member governing board. Three of the board members are appointed by state elected officials, one by the Governor of California, one by the State Assembly, and one by the State Senate. There are four county supervisors representing Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties. Six are local city council members representing the cities in each county. You are always welcome to join us and participate or follow the meeting as it is live streamed online at our YouTube channel, South Coast AQMD and AQMD.gov. Past meetings, agendas, and information on each item can also be found on our website. We encourage you to get connected to South Coast AQMD. Check out our apps for smartphones and iPads. We have a bi-monthly publication called the Digital Advisor that can be read online or on our interactive iPad app that you can download from the App Store. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Visit us at aqmd.gov to learn how you can help us clean the air that we breathe.